guys, welcome to another episode of Car Audio Etc. Today I'm talking to you guys about the importance of speaker phase, basically what it means, how to test for it, how to get it the right way around. The right way around. Um, so what I've got here is just a couple of mocked up speaker boxes that I've just made out of you know, some Spear Pioneer component speakers and some CD player boxes. Um, what I'll actually do is I'll just take these grills off real quick just so you can see the woofers a bit easier since you're not right up close like I am. And so what I've got is I've got two wires coming out of each speaker, positive and negative, obviously attached to the positive and negative terminals of the speaker. And this is a little speaker tester which has you know a couple of co crocodile crimp, crocodile crimp um, outputs and an RCA output if you're doing this with an amplifier. And there's a wee button on here which just says speaker test 9 volt DC. And when I push it, all it does is it puts a 9 volt uh, signal into the speakers. And when you do it, put a DC volt, uh, voltage into a speaker, it's just going to move up to that voltage and then back down when it's released. So at the moment I've got them the right way around, so when I push it, they're both fire upwards. Um, I'm sorry if you can't see it, but at the moment this one is coming up like that, and this one is also doing the same thing. So if I am to put these like this, similar to what they would be in a vehicle, so if you imagine in a vehicle they're in a couple of doors at the moment, they're facing at each other, so when you push it, when you put a signal through it, they're going to fire at each other and create sound pressure, which is good, that's what you want, that's how you're going to get good bass. So if I had one of these speakers wired up around the wrong way, for instance, one of the one of the speakers uh, negatives and positives switched, so we'll hook up this left one here the right way, so we'll hook positive to the positive, and then on the right one, positive to the negative, hopefully I don't lose you here, and then negative on the Sorry, I've actually done it the reverse way. So this one is going to be hooked up the wrong way. This one's going to be hooked up the right way. Now what we've got, yep, I can already hear it in my ears. So when I push it now, this one is coming the right direction out into the car, whereas this one is going back into the box and actually sucking air away. So what we're getting there is these two speakers are going like this as opposed to that, where they're creating sound pressure, so all they're really doing is shifting the air to one direction. Um, what, you get, what that is called is called out of phase. Technically it means out of phase by 180 degrees. If you know what that means, then great. If, you, if not, don't worry, I'm not going to delve into it. So, basically this, this is an out of phase system. The way you can test for this is A, just to have one of these uh, testers or just a little 3 volt battery put the wires the right way across the um, positive to positive, negative to negative on the speaker wires and then use like a torch or whatever it is you've got to look at the speaker and try and tell which way it is coming towards you or away from you. The other way you can tell, and you're not going to be able to tell this on the camera, but having a positive pressure on one side and a negative pressure on another side of you creates a sort of funny feeling in your ears. I'm getting it now when I'm doing this, but you won't because the camera's not going to pick up that effect but it creates like a high pressure system on this ear and a low pressure system on this ear. And so without, and so basically what it means is I can actually tell when something is out of phase just by listening to it. It is hard, it's gonna seem a bit iffy and hard to explain, but just trust me, if you heard it, you'd know exactly what I was talking about. So that's another way you can listen for it. If it sounds like it's, you know, a bit funny in your ears and also another big way to tell is if you've got just a real lacking in bass, that's how you know you're going to have an out of phase system. Once you've got them back around the right way, your bass will definitely increase and, you're, um, and you won't get that funny feeling in your ears anymore. A good way to test whether you've got them in phase, if you're doing it, the listening technique, is um, first of all fade your speakers on your stereo either to the front or to the back depending on what seat you're listening to. So get it all the way forward or all the way back and then use your balance and go left to right. If you move it to the left or the right and it starts sounding more bassy and then less bassy in the middle, that's, a, um, good, that's showing a good chance that you've got them out of phase. The way to then tell which speaker is out of phase, I like to go back to the center on the fader, so now you've got all four speakers playing, and then you do the balancing again. And the way you're gonna tell is, does it sound bassier when it's on the left or when it's on the right because 
so let's say the front left one is the one out of phase. That means that that speaker is also going to be out of phase with the rear left speaker and it's going to have the same effect, you're going to lose bass and everything like that. Since the right one is correct and in phase with the rear speaker, it's going to sound, you know, bassy and good. So that's a good way to diagnose, you know, whether or not you've got all your speakers in phase and just, you know, from a professional standpoint, it's important to us to send away all of our sound systems knowing that, you know, everything's in phase and sounding good. I'll give you a quick close up on the camera of these speakers moving just in case you couldn't see that, so I'll just do that now. So this is the speakers in phase. See how they're both firing inwards. And then if I put one of the speakers out of phase like I had before, Now, so at the moment this speaker is in phase because it's still firing inwards, whereas this speaker is firing back into the box. So that's going to create that strange sound pressure and also, you know, affect your sound quality overall. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Maybe now you can, you know, get your sound system sorted out and it will sound a hell of a lot better. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and if you're a new viewer, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have lots more tutorials on car audio coming out soon. I do unboxing videos and I also do large project builds as well. So subscribe to my channel and once again, thanks for watching. Cheers.